fair city of Paris, at a tennis practice wall, where the action begins. <laughs> C'est pas si belle, t'es chier. Par si da da. Allô, Igor. Yes, no, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. What I was saying, yeah, no, we're not gonna do this festival. We're not gonna do that. And it, allo, allo, Igor, is it going to happen the festival in Moscow? No, this is impossible. We're not gonna do this gig in Ukraine. This is not gonna work. I don't understand, Lafay. You're my agent or what? Martin, I'm not your agent. I'm your manager. I'm the one who puts the croissant or the baguette or whatever you want in the oven, taking care of everybody. Give me a break, Lafay. Come on. It's a big festival. Everyone's going, you know. Plus, it's a casting playground for Elite and Ford and Big BD. So, it's worth going for the girls. Martin Solveig, the main character of this anecdote, couldn't care less about Russian foxes. Since puberty, his heart had been consumed by a secret love for she. Lafay. His French manager could, on the other hand, be responsive to the Russian female mention. But not this time. Now that you're talking, there's something I have to tell you. I got, for you, this contract in Spain for the best summer shoes. We're gonna get in Madrid. You put yourself in front of the camera. You say, hello, I'm Martin Solveig. Me gusta mucho la claqueta madrilena. And that's it. But that day Martin was focused on tennis and more interested in testing his skills with a real competition. You want to do tournament? There is this tournament actually. I may put you in the draw, so no problem, we will do it. Okay, let's go man, we need to run. We go now? Yeah, get down the chair. Ah, thank you. Wow man, you got really super smooth hands. You moisturize or something? Ah, they're nice, huh? Yeah, yeah I bought this uh, little uh, palm balm in Marrakech. It's quite nice. I like it, Let's yeah. Go. yeah. Martin would like to check the mark, but apparently the referee has made his call. 
wait a second, it seems another player is coming to Solveig's rescue. It's Novak Djokovic. Now this is truly unbelievable. Novak seems to disagree with the referee and has decided to give a little help to Martin. Well, I can tell you I have never seen something like this since Big Mac retired. Now the referee will give his verdict. It's in. Game is on again. Thanks, giving up the fight.